MikeTheBandMan.com. All right, that's me, Mike Pugh with Towncraft Cookware. Thanks, welcome back. Uh, to put up another video today, and this one's gonna be about cleaning your Towncraft Cookware. Um, wash them in hot soapy water with a little vinegar when you first get them, and if you haven't done that, you've already used them, no problem. Just keep washing them with hot soapy water, and hot soapy water is gonna clean them uh, probably 80, 90% of the time to where they look shiny. However, there's some things, some meats, vegetables, that leave what's called mineral deposits. Now let me show you what I mean by that. If you look in this two cord here, is that good enough for it? Yeah, can you like angle it a couple different ways? Yeah, that's okay. good. You look in that, you see what's called mineral deposits. Now that's nothing wrong with that. There's, it's not dirty, it's not gonna affect the way your food tastes, uh, but it is uh, going to uh, not look as pretty, okay? So if you wanna shine them up, I recommend some stuff called Barkeeper's Friend. Now, I'm not doing a commercial for them. They're not sending me a case of it, but they could. Hey, Barkeeper's Friend, you can send me a case of this if you want to. Uh, but anyway, it's great. This is the liquid. It also comes in a powder. I use Barkeeper's Friend because it's non-abrasive, okay? So like uh, Soft Scrub is abrasive. Barkeeper's Friend is not. Comet is abrasive, but Barkeeper's Friend powder is not. So I recommend that, okay? It's pretty simple uh, to use. I do want to show you another pan. Okay, this has kind of a buildup on that. Does that make sense? It's like I did a roast in here, and you can see some of that buildup around the sides and all that. So I'm going to show you real simple. I got hot soapy water in here. I use a, I use a real simple um, antibacterial um, um, cleanser. A little bit of a, a little bit of Pam. <laughs> a little bit of pan. No, I've been cooking eggs. <laughs> so, a little bit of barkeeper's friend. Pam won't clean them. <laughs> Let me just clarify that. And I'm going to grab uh, uh, some paper towels. Okay. So, get you a paper towel. Kind of run that around in there a little bit. May want to do it on both of them. All right. Uh, and I'm going to show you another pan over here that's pretty grody. <laughs> but we'll show you how, how to clean it up, too. Can I ask what you mean when you said it's not abrasive? It's not abrasive. In other words, it doesn't scratch the cookware. Okay. okay it doesn't scratch it. Um, and if you do use uh, steel wool or Brillo, you never have to do that, guys. But if you do, it's going to scratch the pan, but it's not going to hurt the way it works. Okay? It just won't be as pretty. So, again, rub that. Uh, pan, uh, the uh, barkeeper strand is good on the inside as well as the outside. It doesn't harm your food. If, if you do leave, don't want to leave residue on there, but if you do... Uh, that'll get it off. And see this one, as you can see, I'm 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 putting a little elbow grease in it, but not really scrubbing either way. Okay. But I want it to look pretty. I want want you to see how easy it is. Now this is the bottom. We put it on the bottom. Uh, didn't put any extra barkeeper strand on the bottom, but a little pressure. Okay. And uh, if you get something stuck on there. You know, hey, there's a little bit of a spot right there, but guess what? It came right out. Okay, there's another one. Buff it right out. Okay, you see how that is? And so I use a blue sponge. Now, again, as far as abrasive goes, the blue sponge does not uh, scratch your pans. If you get the green one, you know, there's a green one that looks just like that, except it's a different color. <laughs> uh, so you really can't tell. Most people don't know the difference. And... Uh, but the green one is abrasive, okay? The blue one is not. All right, simply now wash it in hot soapy water. We'll rinse that off, we'll show it to you, show you how easy that is, and uh, how easy it is to clean your town crab cookware. All right, just gonna shine it up. Show room new, okay? Um, and I use these, uh, these pan, uh, these uh, towels that are that don't leave uh, residue. Okay. Now, all right. I shined it. All right. You see how easy that was? Can you see now that that stuff's gone, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, you shine them up just like new. Same thing here. And by the way, there are several of those kinds of towels. That, uh, that don't need residue. This is one of them. These are called uh, flower sack. You get all that at Sam's. So just a reminder, the small pan that you just showed us was the one that had the rainbow colored 
mineral deposit. Right, and this is the one that had the residue from the roast. That was kind of like white. Yeah. yeah. Oh wow. Right. Hey, if you cook, uh, if you most of the stuff you cook does not is not going to have that rainbow or that residue, right? <coughs> but some things do. Like if you put corn on the cob in there, or even whole kernel corn. You look in the bottom when you get that out you can see where it eats a little kernel later or carrots especially do that too again that's just mineral deposits want to shine them up put this on okay now i'll show you one i've already taken the handle off of this this is the one i picked up at a yard sale okay lady didn't know what she had i took it off her hands but it has been abused right so obviously uh, oil or grease has been used in this pan it's spread it's got on the bottom real bad now Take the handle and knob off, okay? Handle off, knob if, you, if you're using a, uh, a lid, but take it off, take this out under a tree somewhere or something out in the backyard where no dogs or anything are around. Spray that with Easy Off Oven Cleaner. Easy Off's the best in my opinion. Spray it with oven cleaner, leave it in the hot sun for a few minutes, and almost every bit of that will wipe off, just wipe off, okay? And if it doesn't, you just do it again. Do it two or three times until you get rid of all that, but it'll shine it up just like showroom do, okay? Uh, I can't think of anything else about that. Uh, that's cleaning them up, and uh, I want to help you if I can. MikeThePanMan.com. You can find me. You can email me there, or you can uh, you, uh, call my office number and leave a message. I'll get back to you. God bless you. Have a great day.